All right, gang, welcome back to the Ration Review with your host, X Brad TC. We've taken a look at the USMRE. We've taken a look at the British 24 hour operational pack. Let's take a look at another foreign allied ration pack, the Canadian individual meal pack. Uh, you'll remember the British ration pack was actually a ration, 24 hours of food, whereas the MRE is just one meal. Similarly, the, Brit the Canadian friends up north only pack one meal per package. Uh, 16 different menus. This one in particular is salmon. Surprisingly hard to get a hold of these uh, in the U.S. Um, most of the uh, people that sell MREs in Canada, the, apparently there is a customs issue in shipping them to the United States. It's apparently not hard to go to Canada, buy them and bring them back, but actually shipping them is somewhat problematical. Uh, you'll notice, first off, unlike the American MRE, this is packed in a foil-lined paper bag. Uh, and of course, being Canadian, it comes in both uh, English and in French. And of course, being Canadian, it tends to reflect their uh, society and their culture a little bit because you would never see a salmon MRE. There's just not enough people here that like it. But enough people in Canada do like salmon, so that's what they're going to get. Uh, interestingly, they do have a comments website on the back so you can talk to the uh, Department of Defense or Ministry of Defense, whichever Canada calls it, and let them know. So let's take a look and see what's inside of here. Uh, like the American MRE, it is based on retort pouch technology, and I'm going to try and open this with as little damage to the package as possible. Uh, maybe not. Doesn't want to cooperate. There we go. Generally, you're going to find the entree, a side, accessories, and some commercial components, drink, beverages, that sort of thing. First things first, what do we got? Salmon filet, nature, filet de salmon nature. We have the soldier fuel, real peanut butter bar. Basically, an energy bar. We have a dessert. For dessert, we have baked maple dessert, which I suspect is going to be something like the old U.S. Uh, cakes that were in the original MREs. The beverage bag. Again, many units are moving away from the old-fashioned canteen, and so they don't have a canteen cup, so they need a bag. Hamburger bun. Raspberry sports drink. A second raspberry sports drink. Boy, I don't like raspberry that much. Onion mashed potatoes. Add hot water to the dotted line, mix well. Well, we'll see how that goes. Chewing gum. Actually, these are mints, not chewing gum. Whitener for tea or coffee. Peanut butter, which I suppose will go well with the hamburger bun. Espresso roast coffee. Frank's red hot sauce. Strawberry jam. Again, that'll go well with the bread. Another tea and coffee whitener. A long handled plastic spoon. A very sturdy brown paper napkin, almost like a paper towel. A 
a moist towelette. Book of matches. One, two packs of sugar. <coughs> Zesty seafood seasoning. Interesting. And of course, a tea bag. Generally, uh, and as I recall, these are, I want to say, 800 grams, which is just a little bit more than the size of a regular US MRE. Um, 110 grams, one sachet. So, this actually feels kind of small. This feels kind of big. But all in all, quite a bit of food here. So let's uh, put it on the tray, try it, and let me enjoy my dinner. All right, guys. You'll notice there is no flameless ration heater included in the Canadian IMP. That meant we had to go boil our salmon for five minutes in a pot of water. Just throw the pouch in a pot of water, boil it. And let's open it up and get this out on the tray. That is still freaking hot. There we go. Not exactly a restaurant quality filet, but not bad. And while I'm gonna give that just a second to cool down, I wanna try these uh, uh, mashed potatoes with onion. A little bit of luck I can do this without spilling boiling water on me. Fill to the line and mix well. Ooh, very oniony smelling. Yeah, a little bit more water. A lot more water. More water than I would have expected. You can see why they include the very long spoon. The mixing well part is kind of difficult. I think this probably would have been easier to do in a canteen cup. Start to get a fairly decent consistency to it. Let that settle for a minute. Hamburger bun. It's the hamburger bun. Shocking. Side. That's a little creamier than I think I wanted. Alright, but it does look good. Let's try. What do we want to try? Let's try one of the raspberry juices. Uh, 250 milliliters of water. We'll call it a cup. Very raspberry looking. I 
I will say this. The simple presentation of the salmon is visually more appealing than what you usually see with American MREs. And while making runny mashed potatoes is a bit more difficult than what most MRE meals include, it does, it smells good. Peanut butter, much smaller than an American MRE uh, peanut butter packet. Though it does amazingly open easier. Having an MRE peanut butter last night, yeah, this is a little runny. Ah, Should have needed it a little bit more. Not bad. Just natural peanut butter effect. A little bit of strawberry jam. Yeah, I was having an MRE peanut butter last night. It just about killed me trying to open the thing. So this is a fairly good sized meal. Uh, again, I live a sedentary lifestyle. But when you're in the field doing operations, you need a lot of calories. So you, in addition to the entree and the side, basically get a sandwich on there. That's a pretty good amount of food. Let's try the salmon, actually, try a little bit of the Ocean Supreme Zesty, Zesty Seafood Spice. And I have no idea how popular that is in Canada normally. That's pretty good. And that's pretty zesty. Again, I'm not a big spice guy, so I wouldn't do a lot of it. In fact, just in the interest of showing you everything, I'm not a hot sauce guy, but I'm going to put a little bit on some of this. I don't really think of salmon as a food to go with hot sauce. That's a good bit milder than I expected. And, and it, it does go well with the salmon. I grew up in the Northwest. Grew up eating salmon. Hmm. Hmm. Though, very often the salmon was what we went out and caught. A little bit of, seems a little greasy because of the liquid it's packed in. It doesn't have a greasy flavor or taste to it, though. You can get a good look at that. That's good. that specifically because I wanted to see how salmon came out when I found a guy to sell me these. Try the raspberry. Tastes like, no, raspberry. Um, I'm going to skip the tea for now and do the espresso roast coffee. And because I'm a wimp, I'm going to skip the whitener. But I am going to use both sugars. There are as I said, uh, I believe there's 16 different IMP menus. Uh, they do have an assorted uh, assortment of breakfast and lunch slash dinner menus. Uh, I had one other IMP a couple months ago, and I enjoyed it, but I, for the life of me, I can't remember what it was. 
Um, but the one that I've been trying to get a hold of and haven't been able to find is poutine. That uh, Canadian dish, uh, well, you'd have to see it to actually describe it. But uh, we'll see. We'll keep an eye out for it. This, this is really good. I mean, if I had found a way to blot off the oil and whatnot and put it on a real plate, this would be perfectly acceptable in a restaurant setting. Maybe not fine dining, but at least in a cafe. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. And I think my other option for dinner tonight was a hot pocket. No, this wins. All right, potatoes are firming up a little bit, not much. Apparently the Canadians like their potatoes runny because they're never going to come into true firmness and they keep trying to separate the, the liquid from the potatoes. They're a little mealy, almost kind of like, almost like a mm, way over runny mashed potato, uh, instant mashed potato. Almost tastes like a vichy slaw, a really thick vichy slaw. It's quite good. The onion in the chive, or I don't think it's chive, I guess it's green onion in there, is a nice taste. Mm, 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 mm. I am such a messy eater. I suppose if you were a maniac or something, you could put the hot sauce in here, but I'm not going to try that. Oh yeah, that's good. Try our peanut butter sandwich. We got a little salmon on there, which is kind of an odd flavor. A little dry, um, because all the crust and whatnot, but it tastes like a normal peanut butter and jelly sandwich. And I like strawberry jam. That raspberry, by the way, is quite good. Set that aside for a minute. Let's take a look at the uh, Dessert, actually. Let's clean up here a little bit. I'll have some place to put it. Baked maple dessert. Let's take a look. We can get the box to open. As you can see, it's very similar packaging to US MRE menu items and let's see if it even says where this was made. Uh, I know some items may have been made in the U.S. Oh, here it says Baxter's. Sounds like a Canadian company. Cooking instructions. Uh, boil for five minutes. No, I'm not going to. I'm Tired. I'm tired of staying over hot stove. The IMP is designed to be eaten either hot or cold. So we're going to do this one cold. This is not a cake. This is very interesting. It's a. Uh, it's yeah. It, there's there's a cake in there, but oh my, that's going to be a mess. 
but it's a maple dessert. Much, much more liquid than you would find in an MRE. Oh boy, that's very sweet. I mean, it's... I, you don't taste the maple, it tastes just like syrup. It's like taking a thing of maple syrup and just shooting it straight in your mouth. Mmm. That's got to be 50 million calories just for sugar. If I hadn't already had my teeth extracted, they'd all have cavities right now. Coffee's still too hot. I'll burn my lip on that. Back to these potatoes. Hmm. Mm -mm -mm. And finally, let's take a look at the Soldier Fuel Bar. Peanut butter. Real peanut butter energy bar. Ah, 270 calories. Mm, product of the USA. Get you a good look at that. Try a little bite. It's got a consistency somewhere around that of taffy mixed with not of oatmeal or rolled oats. Hmm. Not very flavorful. Not easy to chew either. That is the most disappointing part of the meal tonight. Add uh, these potatoes. I am liking these potatoes. Yeah, apparently there was a patch that didn't quite get any liquid. So, yeah, there is a more potato, mashed potato consistency in that part. One wonders, as I said, these are designed to be eaten hot or cold. Obviously, the preference is to eat them heated. I wonder how well mashed potatoes would come out if you tried to make them with cold water. Mm, mm, mm. So, salmon, great. Mashed potatoes, good. Maple bar, a little too sweet for me, but not bad. Not bad at all. The bread, bread's a little dry, but it's soft and it's tasty, and the peanut butter and the jam are fine. The energy bar, a little bit of a disappointment. Ow, oh, man, that hurts. Burning my lips. Hey, it, it, it's just coffee. But it's not bad for instant coffee. And the raspberry drink, very good. All right, guys. Uh, this has been the Canadian Individual Meal Pack. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed it, and I hope you'll return. And uh, if you like the video, hit the thumbs up button and subscribe. And uh, please comment. Love to hear what you have to say about it. Bon appetit, folks. <laughs>